There's a hundred different ways to skin a cat. Or is it there's a dozen different... There's several different... There's lots of different ways to skin a cat. First of all, why would you want to skin a cat? And secondly, why do you need multiple ways to do it? Just do it one way. But my point is, there's lots of ways to add a contact form to your website. Um, I actually mentioned in one of the other v earlier videos, if you install Jetpack, you get some more widgets that you can add. There's a very nice contact widget that you can add to any post. Just click on your post type, click in form, and it will just come up with a name, address, and a, and a contact type. Um, if you're using Thrive Themes, there are some really nice contact forms built into the architect. So when you're editing a page, you can just insert some contact forms. If you decide not to go down that route and you just want to have a simple but flexible contact form that you can create once and embed on multiple pages, um, creating lots of different types of contact forms, my recommendation is to use this lovely little plugin, Contact Form 7. The catchily titled Contact Form 7. By Takuyaki Miyoshi. Um, it's a very, very common uh, plugin used by lots and lots of people all over there. And you'll notice that if you type in um, popular plugins on the default page, Contact Form 7 is 5 million plus people have installed it. So well done, Takuyuki Miyoshi. You've definitely done something that's, that's working for the masses. Anywho, here I am over on my daughter's website, Tegan Linton. Tegan is um, a model. She does uh, magazine modeling. She's also an influencer and YouTuber and all that jazz. Um, her website is basically just a few photos of her from a portfolio, and she wants to give people, agencies, the, a way to contact her. So I created a very simple contact form on the front page. So if we have a look at her front page, page down the bottom, there is this contact form. Wait, you say, that's not a contact form, it's a short code. That's right, because I just disabled it so I could show you the, the contact forms. Let me refresh this page and show it how that looks in real life. Dead simple, right? They put their name in, you put your email in, you put your subject, your message, you press send, and it sends an email to Tegan. Now, how did that get here? As you saw a second ago, it's the short code. So once you've installed Contact Form 7, let's go into the settings for this plugin. You'll notice that in here, I've created one contact form. If I edit this contact form, it's got this quite simple looking you can add a text field an email a url you click each button to add an area to the form it gives you a kind of a visual layout look first of all it's asking for the name email subject and message let's say i wanted to add um uh, i don't know a, a, a telephone number after email i could just go down to that position click the telephone button it asks me what they want to add it's now added the telephone number. That's what it looks like. So I can put a little bit of um, text around this to make it look pretty. I want to add, end that text block after the variable. Adding your telephone number. And that's it. So now it's asking for name, email, telephone, subject, and message. Let me save that form. If I go back to that front page and refresh it, I'm expecting to see the telephone number appear. And there it is. Hey, it's just super simple, isn't it, right? Now, of course, above the body of the checkbox that you're creating, you have this short code. When you copy this short code into any area of the website, whether it's a post, a page, or a widget, the footer widgets, which is where I was putting it there, it converts it and shows that form. Let me edit this contact me widget. So because I know it's a widget, it's in the footer part of the theme. If I look in one of these footer blocks, there's the Thrive custom text contact me. All it's got in there is this here oops that's the contact form widget so when I dis when I save that 
and display the footer of the page. It embeds that contact form. It doesn't get easier than that, does it? This is my little girl. How did I create that? <laughs> this ugly old ape of a man. Anywho, um, yes, contact form seven. Not necessary if you're using uh, other tools like Thrive Architect, but if quick and simple, you just wanna throw a contact form up there. It's uh, heartily recommended.